Hey everybody, welcome back for an old friend. Let's find out who it is. Although we learnt north of the Assins, the insight we gained into the Echo made our trip worthwhile. I mean, I'm not entirely sure we know at all what that meant. Uh, before the return of the, before we return to the Crystarium, however, there is a small matter I would attend to in Silver. Uh, might have troubled you to come with me? I guess. Thank you. After we arrive, uh, we should be brief word with Rhaenyra. Oh, I see. You want to go see your boyfriend? What do you just say? Damn you, stole We got. Look, not. <laughs> Not that I don't want you to see your boyfriend and have fucking fun time, I'm just saying, we, we got shit to do, you stole You can't just be dropping in on fucking Renee being like, hey Renee, how's it going, my dude? Pick me up and carry me around. Well, don't, don't, don't you lie to me, you stole I know you were into that. You were super into that. Fucking hell, man. If I had picked her up like that, she would have fucking beat the shit out of me. Same for anyone else. And she's all about the Runeer. What's up? Ah, Strife, it is good to see you. Uh, you've arrived at the most opportune moment. I was preparing a pot of my famous stew. Come, come I already have a place for you. I'm sorry, but uh, we haven't the... Please, I insist! It's like only a minute. Uh, my apologies. It looks like our return to the Crystallium will be delayed. Uh, but perhaps only for a bit, if you assist me in my work? Uh, I may say work. Work? I say work, but rather more of a chore. Uh, I must clean my chambers here, so it's from top to bottom. Uh, if you'd be so kind as to go and fetch a broom. Really? You might finish before Runar is done cooking? I'm sorry. What? You stole it? We, we're cleaning your room? I'm sorry, are you seven? I've gone in the wrong fucking room. You gotta clean your bedroom, you stole it. Uh, yo, ask, ask gear. You, we, got a, we got a broom? A broom for Master Matoya? Well, I cannot imagine why she would need such a thing, but here, old and sturdy. What do you mean, why would she need a fucking thing? She needs to clean! Man, the people around here are wacky. What else could we want a fucking broom for? Ah, you stole it. I got the broom. Alright, I'll start sweeping. You pick up all these freaking books. I trust Asuka was able to find us a broom. Yeah, here we go. Well, uh, well worn. Good. This will prove uh, prove difficult otherwise. Uh, though I must say, I think I'd rather I did rather well for not having a broom thus far. What are you talking about? The floor is a disaster, you stole her. But yeah. Yes, well, yeah, you you were buried beneath a veritable avalanche of books when you uh, when you entered, were you? Right. Anyway, uh, this is the time I finish cleaning with the help of that broom. What, what's the big deal with the broom? You're going to make it do clean for you? Yeah, we've got the bass and the toy music. That's not how you use it. Can make it come to life. You don't honestly think I do it the old fashioned way. The broom is more capable of sleeping by itself. Or rather, uh, it will be. <laughs> um. Bibbledy bobbledy boo. <laughs> Time to rise, to swish and sweep. Tidy a chamber you must keep. To ta. To this task you shall be bound until no dust is to be found. Oh. It's been animated into a minion. Uh, 
uh, this one in particular, uh, respect I have no obligations to following in Master Matoya's footsteps. In the future, I may need to need you to remind me that the pursuit of knowledge does not preclude uh, other equally important duties, such as maintaining clean, clean quarters. <laughs> That's the pursuit. Rita, what the fuck, Rita? I would dearly miss this place, these people. Oh, Rita! <laughs> Master Matoya, uh, pardon the intrusion, uh, but the stew is ready. Alright, let's go leave it cleaning. Seems a bit rude. Oh, is something troubling you? Is this not important enough for voice acting, I guess? Yeah, you've been rather quiet. No, no, no. everything is fine. Yeah, I assure you, this has been a long day, is all. I see. You're strong enough. Thank the goodness you're still here. Oh, it's, oh, it's everybody. Oh, they just said their name. They should have said Master Matoya, shouldn't they? While they were in, while they were here. Oh, for now. Uh, I thought you were following Ardbert. I was. Uh, I'm s sad to say, I lost track of him shortly after entering these woods. It seems determined to traverse every Im of Novran in his quest to spread the truth of the Warrior of Light and the Flood. They received news of your address at the Crystarium, precedes him at every destination, making his task all the more simple. It remains to be seen as to what end he encourages the people to become warriors of light themselves. To make the flood start again, I guess? But there is no denying that his words have struck a chord with many. We will. Well, we were agreed that this is just another RC employee. Yes, uh, they've they've com commandeered corp they've commandeered corpses before. There's no good to no good end. I see no reason to think this time is any different, especially when the fallen warrior of light. Uh, I have no doubt. More more will remain. A step behind. His next destination is likely Silverbra. Alize, are you certain you should be here? If you're concerned about Harlick and the others, you needn't be. Their treatment is going well. Uh, but process is slow and exhausting for all of us. The best thing I can do for now is let them rest, so that I believe that we are about to discuss how to a range of meeting with this would-be warrior of light. Before visiting any towns or villages, Ardbert would hunt down and slay a nearby Sin Eater, and then earn the locals' trust. Our best chance of getting ahead of them is to find one before he does. Thankfully, Fancred and Rain are returning from the empty, and have taken up the search. Oh, they're searching for one right now, huh? Uh, Rain believeth one may lurk under beneath the burrows of the woven oath. What does that mean? Uh, but that is where we'll start our search. Uh, ma Master Matoya! Uh. A war bullet stole will be waiting for your return. I look forward to it.
All right, we gotta go find the city. Speak with Fagrid. That's all we got, really. So the old friend was uh, Ruda. Turns out. Thought we might be having a little chat with uh, with Elidibus. I guess not. Whoa. Big eighty. But it's fucking dead again. Oh well, GG guys. If you were hoping to vent your frustrations on our Issa friends here, I can only apologize. Few as they are now, it took us no time at all to track it down. That suits our purpose perfectly. Now we need only wait for Ardbert to arrive. Weren't you two meant to be attending to the entry? We were indeed, and we've made a certain amount of progress. So we thought we might see how the rest of the world is getting on. From what we can gather, the answer is still elusive. Right now, we think we can do more good here. It is heartening to have all present. Indeed. We will be glad of the additional hands should matters escalate. But you say that we still got still got to deal with an Essien somehow. Well, it seems I've lost this particular event. Well, though I suppose it's only fair. When we first met, it was I who outpaced you, Ravana, was it? All right, yeah. my manners I wouldn't be here were it not for you and I have yet to say a word of thanks extend a friendly fist yeah let's do it because he did that to us didn't he let's, let, let's do it back and see if he gets it see what he says trouble you should have it examined <sighs> it's not up but up it would fist bump me back I thought you were supposed to be good at this Elizabeth. Through your time in Emmet Delft's imitation of our home, I dare say you have gained a better understanding of my role since last we met. Not that it matters. We understand your role, Emissary, but not your goal. What is it that you seek to achieve? I seek to enact the will of the convocation, of course. If it helps you to think of me as but another Athian, no different in nature or purpose from the rest, you are welcome to do so. Once, I would have said your goal was destruction alone. Now I understand that you fight for something you love, just as we do. Yet though we seem doomed to clash, I bid you consider Emmet Selt's final words. Remember that we once lived, he said. Had he not seen some glimmer of hope in our kind, I do not believe he would have spoken thus. None better understood your plight than he. His words must surely be worthy of your consideration. Unlike you to ask 
so gravely. That one should stray at the end of so onerous a path is understandable, but I had thought you above such weakness. Mayhap you thought the same. Would that I had been present to offer correction. But I shall do so now, as is my duty, and return all to its proper course. As for you, look at yourselves. Look at your history. Look back 100 short years to how your greatest warriors were undone. And now, at but a word from me, you raise your hands in answer like the puppets you are. Naught has changed. You fail and you fail and you learn nothing. Allow that which is most important to slip through your fumbling fingers like so many grains of sand. Again and again and again. And you would remember us. You do forget yourselves. They got to really push Olympus now because he's the only one left. So if they want to make a decent character out of him, make him a good bad guy, no got to really push him. To be found between you and I. Nor do I require any. I have my duty. Wait! Oh dear. No fight with him today. The identity of our foe, at least. I suspect to say his objective is the rejoining. Well, yeah. I still have no idea how playing the part of a warrior of light will further his cause. Well, he's trying to make this world is already half consumed by light, right, Alize? So I guess he's trying to bolster everyone's enthusiasm. Pray for the warrior of light. Hooray, light! And then flood, I guess, maybe. Another visit to the Tempest may shed some light upon these mysteries. Whether we are to okay. exchange words or blows with Elidibus at our next meeting, the fact remains, we know too little. Ere our paths cross again, I would learn more of the world that once was, and of Elidibus himself. In this, we would be best served going directly to his home, much as Emmet Selk came to ours. Though I see the wisdom in thy suggestion, the Amaroth we visited is but a phantom born of Emmet Selk's memory. I fear it will teach us little that we do not already know. I quite agree. Yet the ruins of the actual city remain unexplored. Given the vastness of the Tempest, I should not be surprised were there more such structures like to those in which the Ondo reside. Oh, okay. For want of a better option? <laughs> like, where else can we go? As long as don't make me do any more chores. Keep that up and I'll send you to bed without supper. <laughs> Not without supper? Assuming we are all in agreement, then I suggest we first pay a visit to the Ondo. As <laughs> the music kicks back up, I feel like, all right, I'm not sure what's happening here. Let's uh, <laughs> let's just go. Is this a joke? Am I meant to laugh? I don't understand. We're just gonna move on past it, okay? All right, Alpha, there. Don't worry, my dude. Make it happen. What we got? <sighs> it's fucking nothing, man. Pixie fucking cheesecake. It's all crap. Just get this deliciousness. All right, next time, Deep Designs. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.